In this video, you practice list indexing and slicing. The elements of a list can be accessed by an index. To do that, you name the list, and then inside of a pair of square brackets, you use an index number, like what I'm showing right here. And that allows access to individual elements within the list. The indexing for the list is zero based. So if you have a list such as this, with these six elements, the indices start with zero and would go up to five. Let me have you try that out. Start with a new list. So here's A. As described, indexes are zero based for lists. So A square bracket zero would access the first item in that list. A2 would access the third one. And in this case, A5 would access the last. Another way to get there would be A and the length of A minus one. If you use an index value that's too high, Python will raise an exception, an index error saying that the list index is out of range. Negative indexing is available also. So if you want to access the last item, you'd start with negative one. So continuing to work with that list A, I'll have you try out negative indexing. So A negative one will access the last item, A negative two, and so forth. So in this case, negative six, which is also negative the length of your list, would return the first item. If you try to access an index that's beyond the scope, you get that index out of range also. Slicing is available too. Slicing is an indexing syntax that's going to extract a portion from your list. So in this example, if A is your list, then inside your square brackets, you would have your two index numbers separated by a colon, and it's going to return a portion of that A list. That'll start with position M and go up to, but not include, index N. Using that same example from before, if you took A25, you'd get the three objects in the middle, starting at index 2 and going up to index 4, but not including 5. Let me have you try it out. Okay, so here's your list. So what if you wanted to slice? Let me have you start at index 2, and then using a colon for the second index, use 5. from two up to, but not including five. Great. You can also use negative indexes. So you could say starting at negative five, going to negative two, which is the same as going from one to four. And you can confirm that here. That's being true. A shorthand is available by omitting the first index, your slice is going to start at the beginning of the list and go up to the second index. If you omit the last index, it's going to extend the slice from the first index and go all the way to the end of the list. And if you were to omit both indexes, it's going to return a copy of the entire list. And unlike with the string, it's a copy, not a reference to the same object. So what if you were to omit the first index. In that case, it will start at the beginning and go up to, but not include that index. The same as from zero to four. And in the same way, removing the second index will go all the way to the end, starting with this index up to the end. Here you can use length, which will return a value of six. And it would go from two up to, but not include six as the index. If you were to remove both indexes and just have a colon, it returns the entire list. And you can try this out by seeing if it is equal to A, which is true. But this is a copy and not a reference. Whereas if you tried A is A colon, it's a copy. 
it's not a reference to the original. But that could be confusing because if you've worked with strings before, if you have a string S, which is my bacon, using the syntax of just the colon does return the entire string. But what's interesting about it is not only is S equal to S with the colon only index, but it also is a reference to that object. Whereas with the list, it returns an entirely new object. It's possible to add a third index. After the additional colon, that third index indicates a stride, but it's also sometimes called a step. So in this example, if you had a slice that went from zero to six with a step of two, you would return the objects at index zero, two, and four, spam, bacon, and ham. So if you went from index zero up to six with a stride of two, you'll see it grab the first, third, and the fifth items skipping over with a stride of two. If you started that at one instead, you'd get the other three. And it is possible to have a negative stride, though you'd put the first index in as the highest value, and then where you want to go up to is zero. In this case, it's gonna to go to negative two. In fact, a simple syntax for just simply reversing your list is to leave the first two indexes blank with a colon, and then the second colon and a minus one. That will reverse your list. Next, you're gonna practice using operators and some of Python's built-in functions on your list.